Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart one of these large AC unit motors. The nice thing about these is that they are very heavy, they're actually about 18 pounds each, and I could bring them into the scrapyard as is and get copper bearing motor price, which is about 10 to 13 cents a pound. However, these are well worth your time and energy to actually take apart and separate the material. There's some great number two copper inside, there's some brass, there's a little bit of silver, some of them actually have aluminum. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take one apart, show you how to identify the material, how to separate it properly, and more importantly, how to maximize your profit and divert this from the landfill. So here we go. The first thing that you should look at actually is the fins. If I take a magnet, you can see that these fins are magnetic, and that's because these are steel. These would actually go in my tin or shred pile, and tin shred right now is going to about 10 to 13 cents a pound, which is a great price. These fins, however, as you can see, if I put a magnet to them, these do not stick. And that's because these fins are actually made of aluminum. The only magnetic part are actually the rivets. So what I do, as you can see here, is I will take a grinder and I will actually just cut out the rivets and pull the rest of this off. Some people will actually just use a grinder and grind off the rivet, so it's up to you. But the nice thing about these, now these are clean aluminum. This is gonna go into my clean aluminum pile, which is going right now for about 50 to 60 cents a pound. So there's almost a pound from all three of my fins together, so a lot better than the tin shred. So you do wanna check that. I am gonna focus on this video on this motor that I've already started to take apart. The only thing I do wanna make sure I mention on this one is, you can see there are some wires right here. These wires are going to go into my 60% copper recovery appliance bin. Currently right now in London, Ontario, these are going for a dollar, don't, sorry, $2.03 a pound. And the reason we call this 60% copper recovery is because these are individual strands with one coating of plastic. So there is higher copper, less plastic. So this is, again, appliance wire that's 60% uh, recovery. So you want to make sure you put those into that category. On this motor, here is the plug that has been added to it. This would actually go into my 40% copper recovery. So this appliance wire, the reason we call it 40% is you can see there is an exterior plastic coating. Inside there are three uh, wires that also have coating on it. So there is more plastic, less copper recovery. So this is gonna go into my 40% uh, copper recovery and is currently going for $1.23 a pound. So it's still a great price but you do want to keep them separate. The nice thing about this is there are also some really nice brass prongs on here. Some people leave these on for the weight. I will actually just take them off. I'll break them off of the pair of pliers and put this into my brass prong pile. Brass right now is going for about $3.50 a pound, so it's a great price. Uh, but again, it doesn't. there isn't a lot of weight here. It's entirely up to you. So again, this is gonna go into my 40%. You can leave the plastic head on here, so that's good. So there is some good weight to this. Now, the nice thing about this, very simple. These will have four bolts or screws that go down the frame. Very easy to take out. I've already taken them out. Here are two of them. And what I like to do when I'm scrapping is I will actually just have a magnet close by uh, to hold my screws. Once I'm done, I will actually put them into a nice container like this, easy to store. These containers, um, nice thing about these is once they're filled, they're about 10 pounds of steel. Um, easy way to transport them. I'm not worried about my nails and my screws and my stuff like that falling out and potentially popping a tire at a scrapyard. Uh, so that is a great thing to do. Also, the nice thing is if these nuts and bolts or the screws are in great condition, you can use them again. I have not had to pay for screws in years, so that is a nice thing, uh, but a nice carrying container always helps. I have also pulled on the back here the panel. There is inside of there, you can see some really nice yellow brass. The screws there, 
look like a nice copper look. There is a silver contact in there that I'm gonna get to. So I am gonna get this stuff after. Uh, once you pull those screws out, you just have to use a hammer very quickly. The nice thing is the hammer is just gonna pop this top off. Here is a nice inner part, the nice motor inside there. You can see a really nice motor. That is your number two copper. You do want to check some of them. If you scratch that uh, and it reveals a metallic look under there, they could be aluminum. If these were aluminum, uh, I would actually just leave this as is uh, because aluminum is not worth very much. But the nice thing is, is the copper ones, as I said, this winding is going to be number two copper. And number two copper right now is actually going for $4.45 a pound. So I have a great collection of uh, number two copper that I throw in a bag, it adds up quickly. The nice thing about this is there is some cast aluminum on here, as you can see on the, the prongs or the teeth here. And some people will actually break these off. Dur uh, cast aluminum right now is going for about 45 cents a pound. It's the same stuff that you often find on frying pans and the older black barbecues. And there is actually not a lot of cast aluminum here. It's not worth your time breaking that off. Uh, some people will throw this into dirty cast and that's what a scrapyard would give you for this because there is some metal on there and some cast. Dirty cast is only going for about five to eight cents a pound. So it's well worth your profit to actually just throw this right into tin shred and get 10 to 13 cents a pound for it. So there's no reason to take that off, so you can leave that on. And this is very heavy, uh, which is great. So really nice piece here. Uh, there is a really nice bolt in here. Uh, depending on if you have a lot of steel, you could probably also put this into your steel pile. Steel is a little bit higher value than tin and shred, but again, um, way better than putting it into dirty cast. Inside here, uh, there's my motor. I could use a um, pry bar, if you will, to pull out this aluminum. But to save time, all I'm actually going to do is actually just grind down the side here, just to speed it up. Um, I'm also actually, now that I have it, <laughs> might as well show this now. There is the bottom. Uh, if I put a magnet to this, this is actually cast aluminum, okay? So once I take this part off, this is cast. Again, this one is cast as well, but I'm not gonna focus on that because that would mean I'd have to grind out this big um, bolt here and it's not worth my grinding disc. This one, however, does not have any steel. The nice thing about that, there is some nice copper prongs. And if I turn this over, which I'm gonna do right here, just gonna bend this up. You can see that dot. There's one there and there's one there. Those are actually silver contacts. There is a little bit of silver on those. So what I do is I will actually take a pair of pliers. I will cut those little pieces of silver off, put them into a vial, and hopefully one day I will actually hit them with nitric acid and make a silver bouillon. The rest of this is actually gonna go into my copper uh, this would be a little, number, a little bit of number one copper. It's not much, but it adds up for sure. As you can see, those screws that I were talking about, those are going to be copper as well. I do want to scratch them to make sure, but I'm pretty sure they are. As well, there is some really nice brass uh, right there on the sides there that I will take off, and a little bit of wire as well. Okay, so here is some cast. This I will throw into my cast aluminum for 45 cents a pound. You can see there is no magnetic trace to that, so there are no screws other than these two that I have to take out. So some cast. And again, for the sake of this video, sake of time, I'm just gonna grind this down. I'm just gonna put it into my vise. It's probably too big to actually even go in there, so I'm just gonna hold it like this gonna set up my grinder. I always make sure I put on gloves, better safety glasses. Um, I am kind of accident prone at times, so I want to make sure that I uh, minimize any potential of injury. So there is my grinder. Sorry about hitting that camera there. So I'm just gonna grind down the one side here. Okay, nice 
nice thing is, there's my motor that slips out. The rest of this is actually going to go into tin shred. This looks like a nice uh, holder here. It still has this. I don't have to take this off, which is great. So very easy to take out. And now all I'm going to do, last thing I'm going to do, here is my copper motor. There is also in these prongs a little bit of brass, so I will hit this with a hammer, take it out. Uh, the brass prongs here, some people asked me, or someone asked me, do I do anything with these brass prongs? Yes, I do. I will actually take these as well, and I just actually snip them right about there. I will put this into brass, um, and the rest of this will go into my wire. Um, the other question someone asked is, is there a difference between the, looks like the nickel coated and the yellow brass pile? The nice thing is that a scrapyard, it all goes together. So you do not have to sort them. Um, I have them sorted just for look. I actually like the, the yellow brass separate with the nickel one. But again, they will all go together once I bring them into the scrapyard. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do now that I have this motor, all I'm gonna do is go down one side with the grinder. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is just turn it over and I'm gonna actually hopefully pry the other side out. So again, I'm gonna use my grinder. I don't need my vise, but just gonna close up because I am gonna use it in a couple minutes. But just gonna grind down the side here. for me is that I actually have to move this around a little bit because my grinding disc is too small but just gonna do that that I have to get to. Uh, some people will actually use a pry bar as well or a, a, a jigsaw. Uh, some people use wire cutters. That's another nice thing about this is that if I use wire cutters, it just finishes it off. Um, where are my wire cutters? Of course I move stuff around or my tin snips if you will. So nice thing is, is there it is. I'm gonna start pulling it off. Last bit of cutting, just get the outer part off, just folds off. And one thing I do want to make sure that I point out is that, you know, safety obviously first, make sure that you are being safe, um, making sure there is time obviously for this uh, that I want to make sure that I get to, but it does come off nice and easy once I get to it. Just easy to cut that through. Might have to go another pass, um, but uh, again, some really nice windings. Okay, and all I'm gonna do actually is now that I've folded it out, there it goes. Okay, so some really nice things. All I'm gonna do now is actually just pull it out 
And I am also going to say right now that uh, I've already checked this one. Some motors, as I said, going back to if they are aluminum or not, as you can see on this one, this is aluminum. So I would have actually stopped at the start anyway, um, but this is for educational purposes. So because this is aluminum, I would have held this as is and left it because if this was copper, for sure I would have done it. Uh, so I am still doing the experiment. Um, I know the other one is copper, I've already checked it. Um, but uh, again, I already had this one out, so I wanted to use this one. So aluminum is not worth it. This would have been just put into my uh, copper bearing motors as is. I still would have separated the silver and the cast aluminum though. I do want to point that out, okay? And now all I'm gonna do is take a punch. I'm gonna feed these strands through, okay? So the other thing I do want to point out while I'm doing this, just because the windings are a reddish color does not mean that they're all gonna be aluminum. I have had copper windings come in different coated colors. It's all gonna go into number two copper, which is great. Um, but again, you definitely do not wanna put this aluminum into your copper winding or copper motor or number two wire, sorry, because you are going to get penalized, okay? So once I get this through, and again, I'm not gonna go all the way, but now that the coils are starting to come out, all I would do is take a pry bar and just put this in my vise, my pry bar right here. I'm just gonna use leverage. So as you can see, they start coming out pretty easily. It just takes a little bit of muscle and time to get under those. Okay, but it slides out as you can see very easily actually, because there is a nice little like wax coating or oil on this, if you will. Okay, but again, I'm not going to take this entire thing out because it's not worth my time or my energy. Um, but again, as you can see, the other thing I can use as well as a pair of pliers that I use here, I will grab the pieces and I will just fold them downwards and upwards and as you can see there you go they start coming out so that is what I would do um, again this one is aluminum so I would not do that but don't be discouraged as I said that is number two copper wires a lot of great copper there's actually 46 pounds of wire in there I do have lots of copper as I said different colors there is a red one right there. And if I scratch this, you can see, use a file there, you can see that that is copper. So just because it is a reddish look, you definitely want to make sure you scratch it. Easy way to figure out that it's aluminum inside is obviously metallic. So I would not do anything. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video again nice thing is check your motor but there is a lot of great things on them please comment down below like share subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one tin man out